And there's a couple reasons why you get up early in the morning and obviously to catch fish. And that's what we're gonna do today. But check this out. Check out the fog rising, or the steam rising off the water. Them cool days are coming. When you start seeing that steam rise off the water like that, you know it's it's just around the corner where the fall bite's gonna be. So we're gonna get out there early today and you can hear it in my voice. It's early, it's uh, about six o'clock. We gonna get it done. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. So the water temperature right now is 78 degrees. Anytime you get into those 70s, you know the fall bites right, right, right around the corner, if not there already. Um, these fish love this temperature. Now we're at 78, 79, so we're still up there a little bit, but either way, seeing that steam roll off that water, you know that water's starting to cool off. And um, as proof by the temperature. So it's actually kind of cool this morning, which is pretty cool. And uh, it, uh, it feels really good feels really good so I'm looking at right at this point you know when I'm trying to go from this summer to fall transition I'm looking for roamers um, fish are gonna start schooling up just a little bit uh, we saw witness that yesterday in our guide trip a lot of schools that were separating from the piles and kind of wandering around the lake a little bit but kind of but still at the same time staying close to those piles so a lot of fun so we're gonna fish a combination of structure and trying to locate maybe some roamers, um, at least a hot area in the lake that the roamers are, are present at. great start i'll tell you what we're having to play with these fish a little bit that was a couple casts over the same pile but that is a solid starter right there we're liking that fish but we're having to play with them quite a bit now i'm using the monkey milk three pound fish and tackle paddle tail i love it 30 second ounce jig head right there and then my optimal sniping braid is the is the ticket on my home lake I say it all the time that I use the optimized and the 12 pound pretty much everywhere else but here I use the really light stuff and right now when I come over these piles I'm just kind of twitching a little bit and that seems to wake them up I don't oh man he followed that sucker all the way up to the boat now, I have to tell you I have been messing with a lot of sense lately um, I like to say uh, give them a little flavor because when the bite gets tough I'm gonna add a little something extra to it um, I'll share that in future episodes but I am becoming a believer of that it doesn't it's not a bad thing to add a little something extra to your bait so in these transition periods, there's a lot of things you can do to help the cause. One is move, 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 okay? Uh, go from pile to pile, eventually gonna run into a pile that's a little bit more active than the other piles. The other thing I like to do is I change baits. And as you're gonna see through this, I'm moving back and forth, picking up different rods. I'm trying different baits every time. I'm throwing everything I possibly can to get that bite. Oh, that's a small little guy, but still a lot of fun. These fish are really still adhering to uh, to structure. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. 
um, and they're not certainly not that active. You really have to kind of get them off the wood. And uh, I don't know if it's too early in the morning for them or what, but they're definitely not going very far for it. And you almost have to really play them as they react to the bait. Does that make sense? I have no idea if that makes sense, <laughs> but I can assure you we've all experienced it, right? Where the fish are just, they're not really moving a lot. And I would think that right now at 80, it's 81 degree water temperature right now as it warms up, I would think these fish would really start getting getting active. Maybe we'll find, my, my always theory in the guide trips is that you just have to hit the right pile at the right time. When they're feeding, boy, just make sure you're on a good pile. And I have missed my fair share of fish today, no doubt about it. They are really biting it quick. So, you know, in this scenario, like for the guide trips that are coming up here, I'll probably just bring minnows a little bit just to give everybody an option as quick as the bite is. Oh. Woo! such a quick bite it's hard to set the hook folks that's how quick it is we don't talk about it much but on my home lake it's an extremely tough bite compared to other lakes in my opinion these fish haven't committed to the baits necessarily or can spit them out in a nanosecond versus the other it seems like you have time to set the hook and do a lot of things of course every day is different um, but that's that one another great fish good eating fish right now that's what we got going on here and uh, yeah not much of a secret to it but fish regardless the uh, really having to stay back from them you know just that and that's been a gr you know great learning process using live scope I currently use the 8616 I got this from PTG Outdoors. You check them out at Grenada. Those guys will check, hook you up with all your electronics, trolling motor needs, that type of stuff. Not only when you're in Grenada, but you can go to them and call them and they'll send mail out all the items that you might ever need. Uh, Toronto pads are fantastic. So. We, uh, we like working with them for sure. Um, again, all your electronic needs and trolling motor needs. So 8616, Cornfield Crappie Gear, those are all about the stands. You probably have seen that episode where I went and visited and kind of showed off some of the new stuff that they've got coming out. Um, I just got done adding the new over the side mount and I am stoked about trying it out in these, uh, these tournaments that are coming up. But right now it's just a patient, you know, sometimes when I get right over that pile with the, with the jig, I'll just bump it a little bit giving it a little bit more action. And that does seem to do, it definitely gets a, a fish that wants to pick up on it and follow it for sure. Today, unfortunately, they're doing a lot of following and not biting, which is kind of getting a little frustrating. I'm like anybody else that fishes, you know, man? You uh, you get a little tired of it. You're like, come on now, commit. But uh, again, we're, we're only a couple degrees away from uh, temperature degrees away from uh, I think getting a really aggressive fall bite and this is just that transition period um, headed in that direction we got a nice little pile right here we're gonna see if we can't get one more in the boat for three pound fishing episode today please subscribe I don't say that enough please subscribe man it does us a, me a big favor if you subscribe and uh, if you have any topics you'd like to see uh, on these videos please uh, let me know <laughs> oh, man you gotta love it I think we're weeks away from having this fall bite man and uh, that's a small guy but 
I am so looking forward to it. It's going to be great. And uh, thanks for everybody that supports Three Pound Fishing. We got a lot of exciting things coming up. A lot of exciting things for 2023. I will. Uh, I can't quite tell you yet. But we got some really cool stuff coming up. And uh, we've been seeing that here, and I think the fall and. Uh, the future's bright and I appreciate you guys and please do like I said do me a favor and uh, subscribe to three pound fishing and, and share the content that really does help me out thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies